Badass Gamer, and welcome to my kitchen. A lot of people ask me, hey, Mass Gamer, how are you able to sit up for 12, 15, 18 hours straight and play video games? And my answer to them is the Mega Mass Gamer Protein Shake. First, I want to show you the equipment that you're going to need. You're going to need every single one of these items throughout the process. So first things first is you're going to need a rolling pin. This is extremely important and it must be made out of wood. Second thing is you're going to need a whisk. Everybody needs a whisk in the kitchen, especially if you're a badass gamer. Thirdly, you're going to need a steak knife. This thing is super sharp and it's really cool. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I might if somebody tries to break into my house. Next thing you're going to need, measuring spoons. Um, you're going to need one that's a quart, one gallon, three ounces, and a quarter ounce right here, just like this. Next thing you're going to need, aluminum foil. And then you're going to need a cup to drink it out of. Now normally I'd be drinking out of a beer stein. However, for this demonstration, I'm just going to use a plastic throwaway Dixie cup. Next, I'm going to show you some of the ingredients that you're going to use. What we're going to do with these ingredients is we're going to place them into the Ninja Blender. Now, I don't know if this is a good blender or not. I'm assuming it is because it's called a Ninja, because I'm a Ninja as well. One of the first and most important ingredients is bacon. You're going to need a minimum of two slices to 12 pounds. What we're going to do is throw these into the blender, like so, and then I'm going to throw the plate over to the sink because I don't care. Next thing you're going to need is a donut. I like a sprinkled frosted donut because this gives you all the nutritional vitamins and minerals that you're going to need to perform throughout the day while you're gaming. We're going to throw that in the blender like so. I like to stuff it in there a little bit too. It's going to be tasty. Let's go and put that in the, the recycle bin because that's definitely recyclable trash. Next thing that we're going to need is a crunch bar peanut butter style because you need peanut butter in your diet in order to survive. Did you know that human beings can only survive for two weeks without peanut butter? Now this is actually, if you notice, this is a Girl Scout peanut butter Captain Crunch bar. And then, not only that, but I got this for 49 cents, the manager special. I was able to go into the grocery store and cut a specific deal with the manager for him to give me this as a manager special for 49 cents, which is less than half a dollar. Next is one of the most important items. This is a Cadbury cream egg. Now you want to stock up on these as much as possible around Easter time because they become low and limited in supply. This is actually going to give you all the iron that you need to perform throughout the day. Now I've already unwrapped one. We're going to go ahead and throw that in the ninja like so. Next thing we're going to need are chips. We have some nacho cheese Doritos and we have some hot Cheetos. Now I know normally you like to snack on these throughout the day, however you get chip dust on your fingers and that, de that definitely adversely affects your performance. So we'll go ahead and throw those into the blender. Next is one chocolate bar. This is another one of those items that are kind of optional. However, this is one of those things that you do need in your diet. You want to make sure that you have enough intake of chocolate items throughout the day in order to keep on going and stay fit, in shape, mentally and physically. So we're just going to go ahead and throw that in the blender like so. Next item on the list is extremely important. This is genuine, directly from Mexico, hot sauce. We call this tapatio in the chef and culinary world. So what you want to do, now one of the things with these is it does have a little squirt bottle, but we like to do around here, is you want to put exactly four tablespoons of tapatio hot sauce in this shake. Any more or any less, it's going to ruin it. So as you can see, I'm going to measure this perfectly. Exactly one and a half cups. Next is one of the most important items. You need at least two eggs. Now, science has shown that eggs are one of the best things that are for your heart and for your brain. So you want to make sure that you put these into the blender properly and make sure to clean up the mess afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and put these in. Just like so. And now, the liquids. The most important thing in a gamer's diet are going to be Mountain Dew. I prefer the diet version just for taste, not for calories. I do tend to get a few more calories in my protein energy master monster shakes. 
But what we're going to want to do here is use at least one can of Mountain Dew in your shake here. And while I'm letting that go ahead and flow in, the next thing is you're going to need an energy drink. Now this one right here is an MVP energy drink on sale for 99 cents. The reason that I get these is because I can have at least 12 to 25 of these a day and it's only gonna cost me somewhere between 12 and 25 dollars as opposed to almost double that for one of the name brands. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in like so. Very nice. Now the next thing that we're gonna do here is one of the most important things. Easy cheese. Now this is extremely important because you want to make sure that you're balancing the salts and the sweets in your protein shakes. So we're just going to go ahead and put some of that in here like so. Okay. We are good to go. Now one of the other things that you're going to need is I understand that we did put in uh, we did put in the soda, we did put in the energy drink, but so far I have not quite balanced the, the, the salty with the sweetness. We want to make sure that we put in two tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons, no more and no less. Okay, perfect. Two tablespoons, exactly. Okay, I think it's looking good here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and engage the, uh, engage the Ninja Blender here. It's the most important part. You want to make sure that you get the right type of blending. That way you're able to go ahead and get your entire system together shake on while you're making the protein shake. You can see that it's not going to be the most blending. So if you're looking at it, you can see that it's going in the perfect direction. And I hope you were able to follow my blending directions exactly. So the next step is to serve and enjoy. So now that's all is needed is for you to pour it in, serve, and enjoy. I made enough for two servings because I like to have one in the morning and one in the evening. So this is the perfect amount to have in your diet on a regular basis. This way you're going to be fit, lean, and able to game for hours and hours on end. Now let me go ahead and put this blender down so I can serve and enjoy. Don't look at my face now. Boy, that is extremely good. Well, thanks for tuning in for this week's episode of The Mass Gamer's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't subscribe, please do. And until next time, The Mass Gamer's out.